Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Werber, and welcome to another installment of one of my video blogs. I'm sitting here just having gotten out of surgery, and you know, something I wanted to share with you because you know, I often wonder if people truly know what to recognize as normal or abnormal, especially if it happens in the middle of the night, and whether or not one should panic, call their vet, etc. Well, here's something to think about. I received a call from a client who was concerned that their dog kind of suddenly was just feeling very weak and lethargic, and the belly, according to them, looked like it was a little bloated, like it was larger than normal. So there were a couple of things that came to mind. Uh, one, of course, was, it was a larger dog, um, uh, was maybe this dog has what we call a gastric bloat. I'm sure many of you heard of that. That's where the stomach rotates on itself. Very, very dangerous. So one of the first questions I ask is, is the dog trying to vomit? Because what happens is with dogs with bloat, they will dry heave continuously. And unfortunately, or fortunately, that wasn't the case. Ah, so the next thing I'm thinking, you have a weak, lethargic dog. The belly looks like it's bloating. And I'm thinking, okay, that belly is filling up with something, uh, maybe blood. So I asked them to lift up the lip and just look at the inside of the lip. And I asked, what color are the gums? Are they pink like ours? Or are they a different color? So they looked and they said, no, no, they're pretty white. And then that's it. That's all I needed to hear. You have an animal that is starting to get weak and lethargic, the belly looks bloated, and the gums are starting to get white, this dog is bleeding. This is an immediate, get your dog to your veterinarian if it's during the day, call the vet's office, see where they refer, refer the emergencies to, or get your pet to the local uh, nearest emergency center because some of these can be really critical. So this certainly was uh, clearly a, uh, a bleed. We put the ultrasound probe, we wanted to make sure the belly looked good. Otherwise, we did see a lesion on the spleen. Uh, everything else looked pretty good, and that's important because depending on what else might be involved might determine whether you're going to do the surgery in the first place. Or, sadly, if it's already spread to the lungs, it's already spread to the liver, or elsewhere, you might be saying goodbye to this lovely pet. However, in this case, it was it seemed at least to be localized to the spleen. Uh, and the lungs were clear on x-ray, and we were proceeded with surgery. Basically, we're going to find hopefully just one of three things. Number one is a really ugly mass on the spleen that may or may not be a, splenic, a, a malignant splenic tumor. We can see something called a splenic hemangiosarcoma and a splenic hemangioma. The first one, hemangiosarcoma, is malignant, and though we will remove the spleen, uh, stop the bleeding, uh, buy this pet a lot of time, uh, we know that ultimately this is going to come back. It might be three months, it might be six months, it might be a year, but it's going to come back either to the liver, to the lungs, or both. And ultimately, uh, the, the sad news is will probably be the reason, uh, unless the dog is already very old, to put this poor guy to sleep. However, other two, which are pretty common, if not more common, are a splenic hemangioma, which is a benign tumor, and a splenic hematoma, which is like a huge blood blister. Both of those by removing the spleen, 100% curative. So, my take-home message, learn what is normal for your pets. Learn their normal activity level. Learn what their colors look like, their gum color. Look at the whites of the eyes. How white should whites of the eyes be? Are you gonna see some vessels? Is the white gonna look sometimes maybe a little yellowish? These are all important things to know. So next time you're at your veterinarian, make sure you can appreciate, to look for, to identify all things that might be abnormal. So if it ever happens to your pet, you'll know who to call. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you soon.